just living in filth and no knowledge of advancement in surgery, you know, technology. And then you were hearing this news in the East. Something about Muslims doing something. And advancements like, you know, the iPhone of the time. Like someone like Mary Lester Nabi, who came up with the GPS of that time that we have now, the satellites. Or John Ha, who became a Muslim, a Chinese explorer, which one of our actors will be, Zlatan Sindra. And he developed, he designed this huge ship. When people would see him travel across the seas, they would be like, what is, what, 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 what is that thing that's on the, on the ocean? Christopher Columbus, his ship was not even one silch of the size of what he built. It was equivalent, ladies and gentlemen, to the landing of the moon. To how Neil Armstrong and the news spread about how he landed on the moon, that was Zhang Ha's advancement at that time. A Muslim explorer who became Muslim, who learned Chinese, who learned Arabi, with his father's help, lived in Saudi You know, as a young child, learning all of these advancements, and our children and our youth were able to understand and identify with these Muslim people at that time and make comparisons. So I'm going to begin this program. The first act we have is called Salama Lamas. That's the name of the act. And I have to tell you that this is completely student made, completely handwritten by all the students. They learn the knowledge one verse at a time, by the way. This is one class a week. It used to be called study hall, but I saw that they weren't studying. This was about five years ago. And I said, I, I can't, I, I have to do something. I just can't have them sit there and pretend like they're studying. So we said, let's make a class out of this. You know, this is Muslim school, I teach science. Ding, ding, ding. Quran and science came together. So I brought this, I, the, the book that really inspired me was called The Thousand One Inspirations. And this, A Thousand One Inventions. And this is the, the textbook that these kids were using for, and they learned from. And they developed their place through this. So now, you're going to see these scientists come alive.
Tom Shoe, let him take advantage of his one second before the hour is established to plan it. Oh, really? How do you know so much about garden? You're just a tour guide. On the contrary, I am not just a tour guide. Well, then who are you? You foolish people. I am Abu Hanifa Ahmed Ibn Dawood Zinawari, but I go by Abu Zinawari. I'm an Islamic botanist, and I wrote many books such as Hudab and Abad. Nice topic.
notices a color change in the water. Wait, it's not, it's right, it goes along all the way over here, too. Really? Yeah, it's, it's like a coastline of water. Oh, that's cool. Do you want to try some?
the Quran it says, وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلَ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُوا لَكُمْ وَلَا تَحْزَدُوا إِنَّ اللَّهِ وَكُمْ مَعْتَدِينَ That means, if you fight, fight in the way of Allah. Fight, fight those who fight you in the way of Allah. But do not transgress because Allah does not like those who transgress. And transgress means that you go over the limit and you, you, you become extreme in the warfare. So that means if you ever start fighting, fight just as self-defense. But do not take it overboard. And narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah that the Prophet said that war is a sea. And sea means to trick somebody and to do something sexual. As war sends someone to take someone in his
scene two. So, okay, Miss Becca. Are you going to intrigue us on the facts of the arts and the chambers, you know, the four chambers that we have with the atrium and the vegetables? What are you going to say about that? Well, Miss Salas, did you know that Ibn Nafis, a um, Syrian Muslim scholar, actually proposed the idea of human circulation 400 years before William Harvey, who got most of the credit for it? Oh, I heard about this. And I think he was the one that noticed the set that wrong. Yes, he proposed that the heart has two ventricles and he correctly explained how blood moves from the heart to the lungs and back. And he made these discoveries through the very, very, very fun process of dissection. Absolutely, Miss Alice. So how C three. Library. It's one of the biggest libraries 
so in the end, everything worked out.
Okay, what are you going to do to me? Okay, in your finger, I will put the shed that you can call the shed that you can What's the shed? What? The shed that you can What's that? The shed that you can put in your finger? Yes, you can. Okay, the shed that you can put on your finger and you make it go bye bye. In the operating room. Thank you. 
shelter. He gave you food and care. Without, without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you wouldn't be alive in this world today. Think about all the stuff that he could do to you, that he doesn't do anyway. He could end this world. He could end your life if he wants to. Without a, without a second thought, he can just take it and it'll happen to you. But he doesn't because he wants to give every, because he wants to give every, every person, believer or non-believer, he wants to give every single person a chance in life to do, to do good, to touch them. Alright guys, I'll Let's go home. Okay, you can go home. I like to stay here. And I've seen you too. Alright, share with us some fun facts here, Mrs. Buttercats. Well, that's all I wrote to be. Where would we be without our eyes? Subhanallah, that's a hard question. I don't know. So, um, Muslim scientists have done quite a bit in the field of vision. Not only did Ibn Haytham correctly correct the Greeks by stating that light enters the eye instead of leaving it, he also described the retina, and all of this without a microscope or any sort of actual technology. Interesting. So, how were they able to look through the eye? I don't understand. It wasn't so much that he was able to look through the eye. Again, you know, it was a that they just had a different way of seeing things. Um, Haitham was so incredibly talented, he also did successful cataract surgery. Cataract surgery? You know, I had a friend that just went through that surgery. Isn't that the, the kind of blurry cloudiness of the eye? Yeah, and you know what the most interesting thing is? They still use pretty much the same procedure today. Wow, I didn't know that.